Alrighty, so we're back with another video. Um, I know it kind of looks a little different. My hair grew really fast, but so far so good. I really want to talk about uh, just the process that I've been going so far. I think, uh, sorry, if the room is actually really dark because so far so good. I have been just in the trenches for a long time, right? And so far so good. I am making good progress. It is about Q4 by the time I'm recording this video and I'm about to get to where I want to be in life. I think I've been just lifting, walking, and reading, working, and then just college work. And that's about it. So my life, my days are just very simple. I do not tend to overcomplicate things. And that's just in a matter because that's just the way that I like to, you know, kind of sustain my life or that I just want to kind of keep my life in order. Because when you think about it in a way, you basically have to kind of just subtract things and just focus on the things that is simple, right? Because when I ask, because I kept, I kept asking myself this question and I posted this tweet the other day that you're not a bodybuilder, you know, and I feel like you should be more into the entrepreneurship route rather than like the bodybuilding route. And that's just personally me because when I think about it on a, on a way, like I've started to get into building my physique around the age of 14 but i just didn't really take it seriously and i never know what it's like to actually be in the gym right that's why you know when you think about it in a way i just don't like to talk more about fitness or i don't like to talk about more in the gym because uh, i'm really passionate about it i love what i'm doing i love bodybuilding i love the gym like it's been like a magical thing that i've always wanted to do like i've always wanted to monetize it and monetize my passion and this and that but i started realizing that it's just not the thing that i would talk about non-stop like it's not something that i actually talk about let's say in, in the dinner table right so when it comes to entrepreneurship i think this is the thing that i wanted to kind of put myself into like i just want to talk more into the money side rather than to the fitness side because i want to talk more about it on the fitness side it's just i don't think it's something i could stick to in the long run because when you think about it in a way if i make an offer off of something that's in the fitness niche i could potentially end up hating it and i'm never gonna have the time to actually go lift weights you know what i mean so i have to learn like the marketing aspect of wanting to become a fitness coach and when it comes to that like i and I remember Alex Shamozi talked about this, that, you know, it's not about knowing the thing, it's actually knowing the marketing aspect on the front and the back end. And that even means like learning the, the sales and the marketing aspect of like the niche in general and understanding the market in general. And that's the reason why I didn't want to do the fitness niche because I'm really passionate about it. I love it. But if I were to make an offer to it, I'm going to end up hating it, not ever having the time to do what I love because because like as well, when you think about it in a way, you know, you're gonna have to rely on so many income revenue streams that just isn't really in your own control, right? You would have to rely on AdSense, you would have to rely on like the income you get from Instagram, you would have to rely on like sponsorships. I can think about like Gymshark for an example, or Young and Life for an example. You would have to rely on those kinds of income revenue streams that's really outside of your own control. And when you think about it in a way, you often kind of wonder and you kind of stir up your mind, like what happens if you eventually get canceled, right? What happens if, you know, you get targeted or like if you get canceled from your brand right like you would lose you know you would lose the connection with those sponsorships and it would potentially be more of a distraction so i've seen bodybuilders who don't even do bodybuilding for a living i mean i've even seen one who actually works as a plumber and would actually do this whole bodybuilding like as a passion project and doing the whole um, you know sponsorship thing like as a hobby like as a fun stuff you know and that's the reason why like i don't like the kind of business model of like where you have to rely on sponsorships that really isn't in your own control i want to take 100 percent of my income right rather than just having income kind of throw at me it's basically like if you're to actually build your personal brand of fitness coaching it's basically like you're working for someone else it's basically like you're working for a nine to five well not a nine to five job but like you're working for it's basically like you're working for someone else right and that's the reason why i hate those fucking like instagram reels because it's just not tied to my current interest but i was personally thinking about like the reason why they don't want to do fitness in general or fitness coaching is because you have to rely on fitness coaching sponsorships um etc etc so you have to rely on so much stuff that isn't in your own control and personally i don't have as much well do have some experience of, of course but it's just not the thing that I talk about every single day or every single time. I talk more about money. I talk more about like the finance side because it's the thing that I, it's not that I'm really passionate about, but it's just something that 
I have thoughts about, you know, every time when I go on walks, I talk about it, I'll talk to myself. But when it's in the fitness, it's just like, it's a hobby, right? And I treat bodybuilding or I treat, you know, calisthenics or I treat powerlifting like as if it's like a hobby or running as a hobby. So it's always good to have a hobby, but like if you were to monetize your hobby, I think you'd end up turning it into something you eventually hate. And that's why I started focus more on stuff like copywriting. I've started learning more about landing pages. I've started learning more about like building funnels, et cetera, et cetera, because those are the things that is what the world needs. And that's something that you can make a shit ton of money on rather than getting into the fitness niche because it's something that I love to talk about. It's just, it's tied to my current strengths with like graphic design and copywriting. You combine it all into one and you end up realizing like, holy shit, I can literally do something like that. So I'm currently in the process of doing that, currently learning landing pages at the moment. And I'm literally, I'm doing really good with it. The truth is I'm not passionate about these things. Like it's not my passion, but it's just like when you become so good at it, when you honor it every single time, like you end up be, you end up loving the game. You end up loving the sport. You end up loving the competition compared to like, oh yeah, I just follow my passion. Because when you think about it, passion fades, passion changes from time to time. And when you think about it, you need to focus on the skills that is required when it comes to your passion. And passion will always change your passion will always change but your skills are the things that can never go away that's why if you want to save passion save that for last focus on the skills first and that's what i always say to myself that's why stay away from all this whole spiritual stuff stay away from all this whole entire like you know david data stuff they talk about like oh yeah stop going for completion anything in life stay away from that stuff they're great i think every wisdom you often every golden nugget you take from a self-help book it's always non-binary if you think about all the laws and the 40 laws of power it's basically non-binary thinking. Like sometimes those laws can be great and sometimes those laws could be bad. You can use them for your own good and bad. So that's why, like I said, when I talk about non-binary thinking, it's like not everything else is black and white when it comes to passion. And I do believe that you should focus more on the skills, on the, on, on like the aspect of like skills that literally, you know, drive sales, that literally boost your income. So that's why I always recommend like forget passion and focus on mastery, focus on skills that actually lead you to making more money that's gonna actually make you a living not just like those fucking you know actors or these twitch streamers who work at fucking ups no offense but like if you know what i'm talking about i've seen like one streamer on twitter i used to always think like does he do streaming for a living no he doesn't he works at some like job like that some part-time job like mcdonald's or ups or etc cetera, et cetera. like that streamer actually does those things for a living he doesn't do twitch streaming for a living you know when i was a kid i used to always think that Oh, I wanted to be a YouTuber. I want to be a gaming YouTuber. And I, and I used to think that I could do this for a living. I can actually make a living from making video games. Or like, I can make a living from making YouTube videos. Making, you know, if you think about like the Face Clan or et cetera, et cetera. Like most of these, you know, people. Like, I used to think I could actually make a living from these things. But the truth is you're not going to make a living from them. And it's possible. But like, it's just like, it requires a lot of talent. It's like really fucking hard to actually get into those things. It's just like when it comes to actually wanting to become a football player and play for like the Premier League or like the MLS or, you know, La Liga. Like, it's just fucking hard to like get in that league and to get into those leagues. It's really hard. Like, you requires talent. It requires a lot of that talent. So if you think about like, like the athletes you often look up to, you know, like the Bellinghams, the Hollands, the Messies, and all these people you often look up to, you know, like they have talents, they have, they have talents. And the truth is we're not like that. We come from a background and I believe that anybody can be successful. Anyone can be rich. Don't let anyone say that you're disqualified to become an entrepreneur, that you need a life experience. You need to come from this crazy background to make money. No, you don't, you don't. Don't listen to people like Hamza or don't listen to people that say that you need a oh, crazy background. You don't need to have a fucking college but you don't need to come from cambridge to like make money you just need a wi-fi and a laptop it's really simple and a skill and when you think about the synthesizer business model there's no such thing as a synthesizer the synthesizer business model is fucking dead it's a fucking cope and it's like you're being sold a dream of this whole four-hour work day that you are the niche and all this stuff that's um you hear and it pisses everyone and it pisses me off because Everyone's literally following this whole synthesizing thing like, oh yeah, and you monetize what you love and money flows. That's not how it works. The market does not give a shit about you. The market does not 
care about what you say I mean, or what you do or who you are yet. Later on, yeah, the market will give a shit about you, but that's when you build success. Once that's once you build authority, and that's the biggest mistake I've learned. It's like I thought it was actually the niche, but you're not. I'm not. I know, like on YouTube, like I can post whatever the fuck I want, but like if I were to do something like Twitter or Instagram, or maybe TikTok, that's something that I would like niche down on. I know on YouTube I talk about like just random stuff, and I just shit post some stuff. But it's because I like it and I do it like in my spare time and like I like to just watch it over and over and over and over again. It's like how I watch my old videos. But um, yeah, I mean, I'm going to probably plan on just niching down on Twitter. And that's like the only platform that I'm very expertise on as well. I plan on probably expanding on LinkedIn and Instagram. But I think on Instagram, I'm probably going to have different like plans with it. And yeah, I'm actually currently building my own landing page and a few landing pages for my clients and yeah so far it's amazing progress uh, slowly building momentum i hope he hits about 10k per month by about like six months and i think it's possible so at, at least the fact that i'm getting close to god and i'm getting to, close to becoming the person who i deserve to be and eliminate all the distractions it kind of got me to the point like there's a higher likelihood and there's no guarantee that i will not fail in this i will not fuck this up like I've been reading the Bible, I've been like getting close to God, I'm literally getting, you know, becoming a better person and a better man because when you think about it, you have to become the person who deserves it in order to get what you really want in life. And that's what you really have to do as of now. So that's really it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Smash like button and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. If you ever need anything else, comment down below. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.